Hello there, my name is Ismaus. This is course one, part one, uh, which is going to be about modeling something similar to this. And uh, course two will be about texturing and course three will be about lighting and making things look good. So let's get started and uh, yeah, see how everything goes. So if you have any questions, you can go to my uh, channel, Blender one on one and submit uh, your questions or any images you have rendered out of this course uh, directly here. You just go to this, submit your content and questions are directly here and uh, yeah so let's get started the first thing we're going to do is uh, make this uh make this set light here or dish so let's do that shift a add a mesh curve you can scale it up so this can be about this is about maybe six to seven meters so i'm not going to worry about the scale too much so maybe let's not measure so go to top view scale this by two something like that and uh, the vertices we have are enough, uh, 32 vertices, and you can tell from down here. So then we can hit F to fill in the faces. I'll also turn on random colors, uh, it's already on, and then insert uh, this. Then push these vertices down uh, like this. Then shade smooth uh, so that we don't see the faces. Let me pull this up, add a, an edge loop around here in the middle, control R to do that, and then scale this up, then go to edge mode, then control B to bevel this, and uh, you can use your middle mouse wheel to increase the resolution of your bevel, something like that. Now we have our dish. I don't like how it's too sharp here, so I'm just going to select these bottom vertices, push them up something like that and then we have something like this so we want to make this satellite dish uh, modular uh, so that we have uh, different panels uh, that we can make so that we have unique uh, panels or different panels uh, for each satellite so what we are going to do let's first add all the modifiers we're going to need uh, for each panel and then we can break up uh, the entire dish into different sets of panels so the first modifier we're going to add is a solidify modifier so just add that uh, this is going to give us uh, that thickness you see there so let's increase the thickness just a bit something like that and uh, let's also go to the object data and turn on and turn on auto smooth so that we have those sharp edges and uh, I also want to round off those sharp edges just a bit are using a bevel so you can see right now if you go to wireframe you can see that uh, the bevel is being applied to all the edges which will remove our smoothness we had before uh, so you can see if without the bevel everything is smooth now if we add the bevel uh, we have we start to see those faces of again so to restrict the bevel only to the, to the corners or edges we want to round off, we can change the limit method from none uh, to angle. And if I go to wireframe, you can see uh, the switch being made. Uh, now, the bevel has been removed from all edges uh, to just uh, sharp edges with an angle above uh, 30 degrees. And you can increase or reduce the angle you want here. So, but uh, the width of the bevel is a bit too big right now. So let's reduce it by reducing the offset here just by playing with the offset here something like that another thing you want to keep note of is that uh, the bevel and the solidify modifier are affected by the scale of the object so you want to apply the scale uh, before you apply any of these uh, modifiers so you can see uh, how that has shrinked applying the scale has shrinked this the solidify modifier so let's expand that again another thing i want to do is that uh, i'm seeing this two sharp edges here uh, that I don't want. So to remove those, I can turn on hardened uh, normals. And uh, you can see we have now a smooth uh, edges. Uh, if you if you have this feature set, uh, before you set auto smooth, you will get an error. You can see enable auto smooth. So make sure you have that enabled uh, to get a smooth uh, edge like that. I remember I want this to be modular, so what I'm going to do is start breaking up uh, these panels into different panels. And I think you will notice in these other satellites, it's, it's like this is a different 
a panel or different material from these other panels. So we're going to separate those that inside a circle or inside dish. So let me select that, then hit P to separate that. And I can see now we have that panel. And uh, now let's start creating these individual panels. So what I'm going to do is just use a different array, another array, sorry, a different modifier, the array modifier uh, to create uh, different panels here. So let's just go in and uh, select a few faces here that will make up our first panel, something like that, hit P. And uh, we don't need this extra panel. Uh, we can focus on this first panel and then du duplicate it around uh, this uh, dish to make uh, the rest of the uh, the panels we have. So just use uh, the array modifier. Uh, instead of using this relative offset, we are going to use an object off offset. So let's remove uh, that and uh, use object offset. And uh, the object we're going to use is an empty. Uh, make sure that you add the empty in the same position as the pivot point of uh, this panel. So shift S cursor to pivot, cursor to the pivot point. Uh, so that is there. Oh, cursor to selected, cursor to selected, so that we have it sharing the same position as this object, and then add the empty uh, that we're going to use as the control object. So let's add, let's use this cube. Uh, make sure you don't scale it down. Uh, if it's too large for your scene, just go under this here, uh, because the array modifier works also is affected by the scale of the object. So instead of scaling it using S, just scale it down using uh, this displace size, something like that, if it's too large for your scene. So something like that. Now we can select uh, this and then select the empty as our object. And uh, if we increase this, uh, you should not see any change right away because all the, all the duplicates we have from the array are, are just being added on top of each other because we haven't moved uh, the array anywhere. So now if you move it, you can see we, we start to see where the duplicates are. You don't need to move them. We just need to rotate them like that. Now we're missing one panel and we're good. Okay. Yes exactly what we want. So let's see what else we can do. Yeah, so I think we can end here uh, for this part. And uh, what we can do, just so it's easy for us to move uh, this object around, because right now, if I try to move this around, you can see we get this issue and um, because the array controls this empty controls the array and uh, we are just moving the object uh, is changing how the array looks so you can parent uh, the array to this object uh, the empty to this object so that when I move this object it doesn't affect uh, the array and then maybe you can parent also this to this so that we have something like that yeah I think we are good here. Thank you for watching. In the next part, I'll work, I'll work on uh, adding these bars here.